Sean McCormick here for Radio HANA. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at Radio DJ, our broadcasting package of choice. It's free software and it's wonderful. We not only use it to run our 24-7 radio station here that plays all the time, we've also adopted it for our on-location systems that we send volunteers out with. So if you see somebody out at a, a soccer game or a football game broadcasting for Radio HANA, this is what they're actually using. Now the software can be quite complicated, but the good news is that the people who are volunteering for us only have to use a very small part of it, so the learning curve is actually quite manageable. To start off with, I am actually talking to you through Radio DJ. So you are seeing the level meters moving here. That's my audio from the microphone going through the system because I have the microphone open. Which you can see the input here is red, that's the microphone input. When it's red, the microphone is open. When it's gray, the microphone is shut. So I'll count to seven, and you'll hear my audio drop out when I close the microphone. One, two, three, seven, eight. I miscount a bit, but as you notice, when I close the microphone, I lost my audio. All right, so here's the sections of our radio DJ screen. First and foremost, this little button at the very bottom right lets you go to full screen and get as much real estate as you can. I always run it full screen. Second pause there while it redraws the screen and there we go. So at top left we have our control buttons. We have play, play from the start, pause, and stop. Finally, repeat. We can loop a song over and over. This area here I'm circling it tells you what's playing, the name of the song, the name of the artist. These two items we don't use. That's the intro and outro. If we'd set the intro or outro on a song, it basically tells you what parts of the song you can talk over, which, like they do on radio stations. We don't worry about that. That's just making life too complicated for volunteers. It takes a lot of practice. Now this one here, this tells you how much time is remaining in your song. So four minute song, you're three quarters of the way through, it'll show one minute left. Or if you click on it, it tells you how much time has elapsed in your song. So your choice, whichever works better for you. Next to that we have the clock. Right now it's set to 24 hours. You click it and it's a 12 hour clock. Once again, whatever works best for you. The area I'm circling here is our playlist. We don't actually have anything in it right now, so we're going to open up a playlist. I'll click on the little file folder here you see me circling. And I'm going to choose our demo songs playlist and open that. And I can have it replace whatever's here, put the bottom whatever's there, or in this case the top. There we go. So when I pardon me, when I press play, the song at the top is what we'll start playing. When I press stop, it disappears off the playlist and goes down here to a list of what is already played. To the right of our playlist, we have the manual and auto DJ button. Don't worry about that as a volunteer who's going on location. You're not going to use that. That's only used in our studio system. It auto generates playlists for us. We always send you up with a pre made playlist so you don't have to use it. Now, this button here below, assisted and automated, those are important and I'll show you why. When it's unassisted, when you're playing a song, when the song runs out, it doesn't play the next song automatically. It waits for you to click play. So if you're playing a song and you want the song to run out so you can open your microphone and talk, you'll want this unassisted. If you need to make a bathroom run that's going to take a few minutes because the bathroom is a little ways away, say it's going to take you eight minutes and your song is only three minutes and 53 seconds, when that song runs out, you're in trouble. So you want to put it on automated, and it'll keep playing what's next on the list. So I'll give you an example of that. Lights out, lying in your We're just going to jump ahead to the end.
jump ahead again. So as you just heard, when one song runs out, it automatically loads the next track and even nicely blends one into the next with no dead dead air between them, which is what you want on a radio station. And this is actually how commercial radio station software does work. Now if we turn off automated, set that to assisted, I'll play the next song. And we'll jump ahead. See my time running out here. See the visual indicator here as well. The song has run out. The next song didn't play because it's unassisted. And that gives you an opportunity to open your mic and start talking. The next two buttons are insert and replace. It can be one or the other. The one that's active turns blue. The one that's inactive turns gray. Now the way this works is if you search for a song and put it on your playlist... I'll pick a song, I've searched for it, I found a song, I'll drag it over with my mouse. The song that was on top is bumped down. In this case it was bumped to number three. Now if I set this to replace and I drag a song over, it replaces the track instead of bumping it down. That's all those two do. I usually leave mine on insert. Now clear does what it says. It clears your playlist entirely. In case you hit it by accident in the middle of a broadcast, it says, Are you sure? Yes, I am. And I'm going to reload my playlist once more. By the way, I do apologize that some of these songs are kind of funky. These all come from the play, uh, sorry, the YouTube channel. No copyright sounds. These are songs that I can use without having to pay royalties or worry about copyright infringement claims on YouTube. So I'm using them. This saves me a lot of hassle. Now below our playlist, we have controls for jump to the top and jump to the end. Or you can just go up one at a time or down one at a time. If you're on a system where you have a touch screen and you don't have a mouse, these are really handy. This button shuffles the playlist. There we go. And you can shuffle as many times as you like. This opens your playlist and lets you pick through the ones on the system. We always send you it with a playlist, at least one. And if you've made a playlist here you like by dragging stuff over, which is a really painful way to do things, but you can, you have the option of saving your playlist. You can drag things around your playlist. Click and drag, click and drag. If there's something way at the bottom that you really want to play, you can do so just by clicking on the item. So what happens if you're playing a song and you want to go to another song right away? Uh, because the song is perhaps inappropriate. We do our best, but occasionally an inappropriate song slips through and you're going, oh boy, I shouldn't be playing that. I'll play one song now. And we're going to jump to the next song. You are still in my mind. All you have to do is click play and it automatically fades into the next song with zero dead air. So that's the fastest way to change a song. Okay, down below the playlist we have our history of what is played. And you also have the details for a song if you want. I actually never use that in practice. I do like the history though, so I know what I played. So I can back announce after I played three songs, I can say, you were listening to Uplink by, or pardon me, Still Need You by Uplink, and Melrose at Midnight by Light Years Away, and finally Blue Shift by Caddis and Kaskar. So that's good for back announcing. Now here on the right top side we have a choice of tabs. Instant players, search, notes which I've never actually used, Alticast, and manual events. And you can drag them around if you want to. 
Now the important ones are instant players, we use that a lot, manual events we need, AltaCast, and search. Starting with instant players. In old time radio stations they had what was called the cart wall or the cart players. Now what they would have are these big tape cassettes that plugged into a specialized deck and the cassettes would loop. So once it finished playing through and got to the end it would go back to the beginning and be ready for the next play. So the DJ would just hit a button on his console and it would play through. The bird brains at Radio Hannock can be found warbling away on Twitter. Visit our Twitter page at www.twitter.com forward slash radio underscore Hannah. And once it finishes playing, it's able to play again immediately. We use these to play ads, announcements, what have you, during a broadcast. To fill dead air. And to, you know, um, advertise things for our advertisers. So I'll click another one. You're listening to Radio Hannah, where our music inventory is so large, we have everything the but the, the kitchen sink. <laughs> oh, apparently we have one of those too. That's your visual indicator of how much of the ad is played. Now, if you want to play an ad, but you hit the wrong one, you can stop it by clicking it again. So You're listening to Radio Hannah, where our music... And that stops it. You notice it stops it very suddenly. If you wanted to stop it with a fade you would push this button down here. Fade, turn that on. Now we'll try that again. You're listening to Radio Hannah, where our music inventory is so large, we have... There, that sounded a little more professional. Now the button next to it lets you play only one cart at a time. So single means only a single cartridge can play at one time. So I'll give a demo of that. You're listening to Radio Hannah, where our music inventory is so large, we have... Did you know that Radio Hannah takes requests? You can You're have listening to Radio Hannah, where our music inventory is so large, we have everything but the kitchen sink. Now, there's a reason for having that, and that's because if you're on a touch system, some people occasionally play all the cartridges at once by swiping the wrong way. You're listening to Radio Hannah, where our music is Sounds nasty, right? So if you go to single you do prevent that happening, but the problem is sometimes when we're playing cartridges we want them to overlap slightly so we don't have dead air. I'll play one. Hold on. Hi. You're listening to Radio Hannah, the home of Hawks football. You're listening to Radio Hannah, where our music inventory is so large we have everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> oh, apparently we have one of those too. So we had no dead air. Now, if you say it's a single and you want one to go into the next, it clips off the one that's playing previously a little harshly. Radio Hannah is a project of Prairie Land Regional School Division Number 25. We're connecting our schools in Hannah with their community while helping our students build their communication skills. You can learn more about us at our websites at www.radiohanna.ca or www.plrd.ab.ca. You're listening to Radio Hanna, the home of Hawks football. So it wasn't quite clean, but it worked. So that's how the cart wall works. It's very friendly, very easy to use. Manual events. We only have two that you need to worry about that we send you out with. One is go online manually. One is go offline manually. We try and schedule everything ahead of time so that the system will automatically go online and offline as it needs to. Unfortunately, things don't always go as planned. Event times change so you get out there. And you'll have myself or somebody else at one end taking the studio system offline for you. Then we'll text you and say, please click go online manually. When you click that, it goes through all the steps needed to put your system online. And when you're done, we'll say, let us know when you're going offline. And when you click this, about 30 seconds later, we put the studio system back online. This is our Hail Mary in case the schedule falls apart on us. The AltaCast tab is important. This is the address of the server on the net that we stream to. Now, when we're streaming, when we're live on air, this little button here, this light turns green. When we're off air, it's red. That's your on air light, basically. So you want to see this green. If it's not green and you're supposed to be on air, try clicking the play button. If you're supposed to be off air and this is green, try clicking the stop button. That's the only time you really have to play with this. 
It usually works. Finally, we have Song Search. I'm just going to click the little X here to clear the field. This lets you search the entire 16,000 song database on this machine. I'm just going to search for Tobu because I know this one is copyright infringement free. I don't have to worry about it. I'll drag that over. So you can search for songs clear. I could search for Warren's Heaven, Werewolves in London. Drag that over. Because it's copyrighted, I'm not going to play it, but that's how you would find it and drag it over to your playlist. And if you don't want it on your playlist, this little X here gets rid of it. Along the bottom, we have some buttons that you, for the most part, don't need to know about. Tracks Manager. Don't worry about it. That's something we use. You don't have to use. Same with Playlist Builder, Audio Processing, Now Playing Info, Utilities. That's all stuff that the people maintaining your system do for you. You don't have to worry about. Options you might have to worry about. We'll click on that. And out of all the items on here, the only one you'll use is the Options button. Now what happens is occasionally you go to Broadcast, and you discover that you're talking to your mic, but you don't see this meter over here at the top left moving, and you're going, why don't I have audio? That's probably because if you click on the Sound Cards tab and look under your input sound card down here, when you plugged in your USB devices, your USB mixer, something barfed, and it didn't identify the USB mixer properly. So you have to go into your list and choose USB audio codec with some number here between 1 and 7, usually. You pick that, you close, you open your microphone again, and you'll have audio. That's the only time we've actually had to have people mess with this. This area here is your events. It will tell you when the next event is happening. When you get to within one minute of the event, it starts flashing orange to get your attention. And for you, this will be an online or an offline event. That's preset for you. Don't have to worry about it. But the thing to be aware of is if it says that in one minute your broadcast is over, that really does mean that in one minute your broadcast is over. So by the time it finishes counting down, you want to have stopped talking, stop playing music and be ready because it's just going to cut you off, stop whatever you're playing, close your mic, and just go offline. So if you're in mid-sentence, it sounds kind of funky. So just be really aware of that. When it gets to zero, either you've stopped talking or it stops you in your tracks. And this will stop all events. Please don't use it. If we have things scheduled, we don't want you stopping events unless you are specifically told to. If we say, you know what, the game is running half an hour late, and you say, what do I do? It's counting down. We'll tell you, press stop all events, and that pauses all events. That's the only time you use that, and only if you were asked to ahead of time. Finally, we have the auxiliary players here. We hardly ever use these, but it's good to know about them just in case. There may be the odd occasion where somebody hands you an audio file on, say, a USB stick that you need to play. All these songs you see here, they are actually already in the database for Radio DJ. We have to import them ahead of time. Now, if we haven't imported a track and you search for it, you're not going to find it. The only way to play those is to use the auxiliary players. So I'm going to right-click on a player with my mouse, say Open File, and I have a bunch of sound effects here, so I'll just pick one and load that and now I can play it. That file came off an external USB thumb drive. So that's the only time you use that. So I'm just going to do a little DJing here with Radio DJ, and what I'm going to aim for is zero dead air. I want every song to blend into the next song, and I want to start my voiceover over the very tail end of a song. So I'm just going to play music here for a minute or two. I apologize if it's not the best music. But you'll see me playing carts, and you'll get an idea of what it looks like when we're actually DJing. So I'm going to start by playing some music, and you'll see me jumping in ahead to the end of the song so you're not listening for half an hour. So first up is Tobu, Infectious, the original remix.
listening to Radio Hannah, the online station with a small budget and a big heart. The bird brains at Radio Hannah can be found warbling away on Twitter. Visit our Twitter page at www.twitter.com forward slash radio underscore Hannah. A break, a pause, I wait, oh baby, cause I know I was the cause, and you in the end. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. That was You by Axel and Alex Grindle, Shipwreck before that, and uh, Electrolyte and Jordan Keller. So, nice day here in Hannah. The temperature is 17 degrees. It's been a beautiful day. Thank you very much for listening. We're going to have a couple of commercials and go back to more music. Uh, Donuts by Jen Sation. We've got the cure for the Monday Morning Blahs, the John Deadlock Monday Morning Show. Broadcast from a secret location on 2nd Avenue here in Hannah, veteran DJ and announcer John Deadlock will help you start your work week off right. Tune in on Radio Hannah every Monday morning at 9 a.m. You request it, we play it. If we have it, and if it's clean. The Friday Night Free For All, every Friday evening from 7 to 10 p.m. It's what Hannah wants to hear. We'd love for you to like us on Facebook. You can find our Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash Radio Hannah. Okay, and that's a quick example of what it's like to run a remote system. Pardon me, running a remote system for Radio Hannah using Radio DJ. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Have a great day.